So it's uh, what day is today? Monday. Monday morning. I just checked out of my hotel. That one right there. Uh, creepiest place in the world. Hot tub in the floor thing. I talked about that already. Uh, I kind of didn't get around to figuring out everything I needed to figure out for today. So now I'm gonna go find a Starbucks and cool out and bum their Wi-Fi, drink some coffee. I still haven't eaten, so I need to go find a place to eat. Um, and then I'm gonna cruise around LA for a little bit. That's what I need to go sit down for. Uh, figure out what to go see while I'm here. And then I'm gonna head up the coast into some national parks. And then uh, I'm actually gonna be staying in a hostel in San Diego tonight. So that'll be pretty rad. Um, anyway, see you guys back on the road. Peace. Venice Beach. I'm walking towards Venice Beach right now. I heard that's where the hippies are. That's like a real place to go see. So. on some random curb in front of some random I guess it looked like a low budget apartment building I'm gonna I texted myself the intersection but I'm gonna have a hard time finding it <laughs> um, this place is really gorgeous I'm gonna walk over to some rocks I see way down there this is gonna be a long walk I'm probably gonna be late getting to San Francisco just like I'm late getting to everywhere else that I go on this trip You know what's really stupid is walking through the beach with motorcycle boots on. Motorcycle boots are not designed for walking on floors, much less walking on soft sand.
are really slick. Not sure how I'm gonna get back down from here once I'm ready to go. So I'm at Venice Beach on the rocks. Uh, I had to park a ways away and then walk a ways to get here. And giant waves keep hitting these rocks. But um, <laughs> it's really great. I can't believe people move away from these kinds of places. Uh, the scenery is just so awesome. It's beautiful. There's nothing like this in Texas, and probably not much like this anywhere else, right? That's why I came here to see it. Well, I wanted pictures of myself on those rocks over there, and I got them. This was just supposed to be a quick little detour, so I'm going to start heading back to the bike now. I'm going to be so late. But I'm always late. I haven't been on time for anything this entire trip. Uh, next stop is another beach. Uh, and food finally. I haven't eaten all day long. It's like 3 o'clock Pacific time right now. Plus I haven't eaten all day. And I'm pretty hungry. Uh, so we're gonna stroll back up this beach. It's a topless girl right there. Nice. <laughs> so we're gonna stroll back up the beach. I'm gonna try to find my motorcycle. Hopefully I didn't get like a ticket or something for where I parked. I don't know. There were cars parked on the curb too. Uh, We'll get back on the road and then we'll go find some more pretty water and pretty girls and pretty sand and pretty trees and pretty skies. I love this place. <laughs>
It's a uh, 4.50 a gallon for gas out in the middle of nowhere, California. <laughs> um, so I woke up today in LA, right on Long Beach. I uh, cooled out for a while around there, and then um, and then I headed up into uh, on onto the Pacific Coast Highway, and I went to Venice Beach, and I went to this really great seafood restaurant that I had been planning to go to since I started this trip called uh, the Real Inn. Uh, they have like fresh fresh fish just sitting there waiting for you to order it and they don't cook it till you order it That was delicious. That was like the best fish I've ever had in my whole life um, From there uh, I checked Google Maps to see how far away I actually was from San Francisco Which is where I'm staying tonight and realized I had like seven hours to go and it was like almost five o'clock so I've been I've been kind of hurrying since then. It's about to be nine o'clock I'm about 170 miles away still, which is about two and a half hours. So it's looking like I'm not going to get settled until about midnight, which is a real bummer. But uh, such is life, right? <laughs> I'm thinking about staying a second day in San Francisco. That way I can have time to actually go out and like explore the city without having to pack my bags all up again. You know, I could leave them in the hotel. Um, from San Francisco, I'm not really sure where I'm going. Uh, I'll have to get on the internet and see how far up the coast I want to go in the next run and where the hotel will be at that I stay in next. Um, I guess uh, I'll see you guys in San Francisco. <laughs> What's up guys? Um, I just recorded, oh well, I just said a lot of the stuff I'm about to say right now, but I did not push the record button, so <laughs> uh, I was probably a good 10 minutes in, and then I looked down to check the time on how long I had been going and realized there was no timer going, so I was like, dang, this thing isn't even recording. Anyway, I'm in San Francisco, uh, in this little hostel, in a little back alley full of, there's like no Americans here, <laughs> it's just weird, uh, they're all uh, like backpackers from different places, cool people, uh, they were a little creepy last night when it got late, like, I don't know, I have a single room, but there's a lot of like dorm room, communal bunk bed kind of things here, and a lot of these guys, I guess, instead of hanging out in those, they decided to hang out in the stairwells. So it's like a bunch of dudes just like leaning against walls and stuff, texting quietly. <laughs> um, anyway, I, I spent a long time yesterday on the beach in LA just because it was so nice, you know, just people watching and watching the water and enjoying it. And then I went to this awesome seafood restaurant that I had been planning to go to since I was in Houston. Uh, and then I checked Google Maps to see how long it was going to take me to get here, and it was about 4 or 5 o'clock, and Google Maps said it was going to take me 7 hours to get here, and I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> and uh, so I had to abandon my kind of meandering journey on the coast, go up to a freeway, and just drive as fast as I could up here. Because the later it gets, the darker it gets, the colder it gets, the more dangerous the road gets for me, you know. Uh, especially just like in general, the longer I ride, you know, when I get to that 10, 11, 12 hour mark of just being on the road, um, my brain starts slipping, you know. You start thinking less about taking a safe line through a turn and thinking more about 
how much your legs hurt, you know? They started to get cold. I wasn't prepared for how cold it was going to get up here. Uh, I mean, I know it's not going to be like Houston, but it doesn't even feel like summer. <laughs> it's like, even right now, it's probably like in the 60s. It ain't even no 60s in the summertime in Houston. And last night with the wind chill and stuff on the bike, you know, because I'm going over 100. And with that wind, it's just freezing. Like, I was shivering for a lot of the last two hours. Just so cold. And, uh, and my hands were hurting and my ears were hurting. And I was starting to drift, you know, like my attention was just not on the ride anymore. Um, so... I actually have to bounce pretty soon. Uh, it's only like 7 in the morning, but my bike is parked in a place that becomes illegal at 8 in the morning. So, I don't know. I could go move the bike, but I don't really know where I would move it to because I don't know the city. So, I was planning to just bounce, go eat breakfast. So I want to hang out on, uh, on a pier for a while at Fisherman's Wharf. I heard the views there are pretty nice in the morning. Um, and then... Uh, I'm heading up north to see some redwoods, finally. Uh, so today is redwoods. I booked a hotel that's kind of in between a couple of national parks I want to try to hit before the sun goes down. Tomorrow is Crater Lake up in Oregon. Uh, I have a suspicion that that's not going to go as well as I'm hoping it will. <laughs> I might end up having to stay two days there. But hopefully I can make it. Um, the reason I say that is because, you know, check-in at hotels is kind of late in the day, you know, 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and then for Crater Lake, you have to park and then hike. Uh, at least that's what the maps seem to indicate. So, I'm, I'm just hoping that it, you know, the timing works out, that I can see everything I want to see in a day. Um, and then from there, I'm either going to start heading back home, or I'm going to head up to Portland and Seattle. I want to do Portland and Seattle, but, you know, it's getting so late. Today is the 29th or the 30th. I think it's the 29th, but I could be wrong. It's hard to keep track of days when you're on vacation. <sighs> um, but, uh, you know, my flight out of Houston is on the 7th, which means the last day I can see anybody is the 6th. And, uh, right now the way it's looking, I'm not going to be back until, like, the third. So that only gives me two or three days to actually see people and say my goodbyes. Maybe that's a good thing, because I'm bad at goodbyes. <laughs> I either get too emotional or not emotional enough, you know? So it could be somebody that I'm totally going to miss, and I'll just be like, eh, later. Or it could be, you know... Somebody that doesn't think we're all that close, and I just can't let them go. Um, anyway, uh, I'm starving and dirty. I really want to take a shot. I'm going to try to get in this. It's like a communal bathroom. And I don't know, there's a line. So hopefully I'll get to take a shower before I get to the next hotel. If not, then I won't be showering until like 4 o'clock this afternoon, which is gross considering how dirty I am from the motorcycle ride and sticky from like beach air and stuff. <laughs> um, definitely need to brush my teeth. Yeah, those are gross. Because uh, I came in last night and just crashed. Um, definitely need to eat. All I've had in the last... Well, I ate lunch, lunch at like four or five, but since then I've had a bag of beef jerky, and that's it. <laughs> bag of beef jerky and a bottle of water is what I'm being sustained on at the moment, and I'm so hungry. Anyway, um, next time I see you guys, I'll probably be on the road on my way to see some giant trees, or... I'll already be next to a giant tree. Or I'll be in a hotel. That's vague, huh? I guess I don't really know where I'll be next time I say hi to everybody. But I will say hi soon. Um, everybody, uh, keep showing love. 
to everything and everybody you come across. Peace.